Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Shino bringing you another Mod Spotlight video. This episode is on Angel Belt by Buggy and I'm going to show you how you can use it in your own modded adventures. This is going to be fun. Let's get going. <laughs> And a big hearty thank you to our friend Buggy at Flexible Games for all their great mods, not only Angel Belt. Uh, go check out their YouTube channel. Link is up in the corner and the description of this video. And while you're at it, go check out his Discord channel. So what I like about this mod is it gives me the ability to get into elevations for building without having to go to the traditional sources. Instead of having to use the scaffolding from Medieval Expansion or ladders from the base game, or nerd polling up using, uh, you know, whatever resources I got. And anybody who's watched my unmodded series knows I like to use the hay bales. Well, this mod allows you to do any of these things, but without the added risk of falling from your perch. So anytime we're using these, if we happen to move off, we run the risk of falling and getting hurt. And the angel belt is going to help prevent that. Okay, so let's take a look at the recipe. Open up your handbook. And once you have the mod installed, you can type in Angel Belt, and it will show you the item and the recipe for crafting this in your grid. Really not that difficult. Temporal gear, you know, you got to wait for the random number generator to drop one of those for you. Uh, but you kill enough enemies, you've got a good chance. Now your gold plates, this is something that I want to point out. To be able to get the gold plates, you're either going to have to do a lot of panning, or you're going to have to do a lot of mining with a tier 3 pick in quartz veins that hold gold. So you're going to have to find that quartz vein. You're probably going to have to clear a lot of it to find enough gold, which means probably ore bombs are going to be involved. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about timing of when you're going to be able to use this mod. Probably going to be looking to a little bit of the mid-game range before you can get started on it. Okay, so now let's grab an angel belt. Let's put this on. So we're going to equip this by opening up C for the character uh, window. We're going to drop it into the belt slot. And now we have this on. But now what do we do with it? Well, let's take a look at the basic controls. Again, Buggy knows how to take care of us. So he's gone ahead and made sure that we have the controls entered into the settings menu. So you go to settings, you go to controls, and you can see there we have enable angel belt, angel belt fly speed up and down, reset, lock the plane, and then speed incremental increase by 0.1 or down by 0.1. So there's your controls to the angel belt. And if I exit out of this, all right, so now that we have our angel belt, let's learn how to use it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to enable the angel belt by pressing the R key. That sound indicates that there's been a change in the enabled state of the belt. And if you wanna see what that enabled state is, you can look at your character display or the slot display. If you watch that, when I press the R, you'll see it changes to a subdued color. And when I change it back, it lightens up into a gold color. The gold color means that the angel belt is on and working. And now we can press the space bar to go up and we can press the shift key to go down. We can use any one of our directional keys, W, A, S, and D, to fly around using the angel belt. Or we can just hold on the W key and move our mouse around to fly in and around stuff. There we go. So now that we learned about the basic controls of the angel wing, let's talk about the flight plane and how to lock ourselves in on it. So if we hit the F3 key, you'll see that it says flight plane axis locked to X. X is the north and south direction on the Vintage Story map. So as you can see, I can move forward and backwards along the north and south, but I can't move east and west. I'm locked in. I can still go up and down, but I can't go to the east and I can't go to the west. See? Nothing. If I hit F3 again, I'm going to be locked in on the Y axis. and Y is your elevation. So uh, I can fly around in any direction I want, but if I look at the ground, I'm not moving towards the ground. If I look at the sky, I'm not getting any higher. I'm stuck at the point that I locked it in, which happened to be the uh, block level 10. So I cannot go above or below block level 10. Now, if I hit the F3 one more time, now I'm locked in on Z. Z will allow me to move along the east and west axis, 
but it will not allow me to go on the north-south axis. I can go up and I can go down, but I can't go north and south. And once I'm done and I want to reset everything, I press the home key and voila, now I'm back in free directional flight. Cool? I think so. Buggy, you did a great job with this. Thank you. So now that we know how to lock ourselves in on the plane and the axis, let's talk about how to increase speed. So pretty simple. As I move back over this direction, I go flying through. If I press the page up key, you can see my speed has picked up greatly. And if you look in the window, you'll see that it's now a flight. Uh, and now if you look at the window, you'll see I have a flight speed multiplier that's set at four. And I can increase that even more. Let's say I wanted to go up to 10. There, now we're flying. Pretty cool. Now, if I want to decrease it, I just hit the page down key. We can lower that back down to whatever speed we're wanting to get it to. Now, once we've made any of these adjustments, anytime we need to clear how we have the angel belt set, we can press the home key and you'll see flight modifiers have been reset. Everything's back to its original state. Pretty nice. All right, so now that we know how to control our angel belt, we've learned about the flight mechanisms, let's talk about a couple of warnings. Uh, one, if you're flying at a very high rate of speed across an open area, you're gonna cause, you're gonna move yourself quicker than probably terrain can generate. If that's the case, then you may actually cause your computer to kind of cause, to get some serious lag issues. So keep that in mind. It's cool to be able to fly uh, at a really fast rate of speed, but not if it's going to crash your game. Uh, two, another thing to worry to watch out for while you're flying is if you're up at elevation and you hit the R key, let's do it here. If you're at elevation and you hit the R key, you are going to drop and you're going to cause damage to yourself. So be wary of your, of your keystrokes uh, when you're flying. And another thing to worry about when you're flying is if you're at a high elevation or you're flying fast, uh, watch out what you might fly into. Uh, flying too fast from a high altitude towards the ground uh, with your mouse key down instead of the shift key could also result in your early demise. No, 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 no! All right, folks, that's going to do it for this Mod Spotlight video. Why don't you head over to the Vintage Story Mods page and download Angel Belt for your own modded adventures. Also, take a moment to hit the like button on this video so it can spread to more people.